When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Okay, so let's dive in. Hey, Ben and Kelly. First of all, can I just say I love your show? Aw. Been a faithful listener since I was in high school. There you go. Well, I'm hoping you can help me out here. My husband and I are expecting a baby girl. We've chosen the name Charlie. Aw. Now, I realize this is a slightly unconventional name for a girl, but I think it's adorable. And as we started to share the name, we've gotten more than one rude comment, usually from acquaintances or what? strangers who ask. Now, these comments are generally, generally around the lines of, for a girl? Or wouldn't you like to save that name for a boy? <laughs> so what's the best way to respond to these comments? I love the name, but we're seriously considering changing it because I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't want the response that I've seen already be a part of her life forever. I want to let people know that they are being inappropriate and rude, but I don't think saying, what the heck is wrong with you, which is what I'm saying, is the best response. Mm. So any help would be great. Thanks, Sam. How is Charlie an unconventional name for a girl when... Good luck, Charlie! Yeah. Was all over the Disney Channel. My daughters love this show. That is a solid argument. I mean, for the name. your people are obviously living under a rock. Well, here's here would be my one suggestion, because they have it spelled C-H-A-R-L-I-E, which is typically like a masculine way to spell it. Maybe leave off the E. Just spell it C-H-A-R-L-I. Well, guess and that what? that right there, I says, I think that's the more feminine way of spelling it. Well, guess what? Good luck, Charlie, is spelled with an I-E. No! Oh, you're right. Again, solid. Listen, I'm going to use the Disney argument this entire time. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You know what? They should have this theme song just queued up for whenever, (laughs) like, they encounter a rude comment like that. They just whip out the phone and play it. But but listen, there's good luck Charlie on the Disney Channel. That was a girl, right? The star of the show. That's a girl. What? I didn't really watch the show. Okay. I'm guessing Why would it. I have even brought that up if it weren't a girl? <laughs> I'm just checking. I'm just double checking. Oh I'm double God. checking the <laughs> argument. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> I didn't watch the show. But okay. I'm, I'm behind you in using that as a solid argument. I, I and think, I love the name for a girl. Yeah, I like Charlie too. I mean, so if if, you know what, honestly, it's just Kelly and my opinion that matter here. So... Um, there you yeah, go. Yeah, uh, we're the only ones that matter. We're the only ones that matter. I'd say, okay. say go with it. I, I don't even say change the spelling of it. Keep the spelling of it. The spelling okay. of it's fine. All right. Um, What's the middle name? I really want to know the middle name. Oh, yeah, I don't know. She didn't say. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, if you've got any suggestions um, in how to proceed, and I know, I mean, like, this is coming from a Sam. She says Sam. Oh, I'm I mean, sure I'm, she I'm probably sure, maybe faced the same thing when I, she was growing up. I'm sure that's short for Samantha. I mean, sure. I guess I'm assuming. But, you know, I've or known. Or Sammy. I, I know a Sammy that's a girl. Yeah, I know. I, I've known professionally a Sam, and she's a girl for many, many years. And, yeah. Um, but, yeah, uh, let that's us know. Adorable. Uh, 795-1997, especially if you have an unusual name or a gender nonspecific name. That maybe causes confusion in how you've dealt with it. Maybe that oh. could help. By the way, Laura, one of the comments on Facebook, Charlie's not that uncommon. There was a whole Disney series called Good Luck Charlie, in which Charlie was a little girl. So even Disney thinks it's an appropriate girl name. It's fine. <laughs> I told you. I yep. told you. Hang everything on that. All right. So hang it all on that. 502 795 1997. Your story's next. What is a name? What's in a name? Uh, so Sam wrote in and she's like, you know what? She and her husband have chosen as a girl's name the name Charlie. And she's all like, Hey, love the name, but now she's getting comments that's making her consider changing it because she doesn't want the response that she's already seen to be a part of her little baby's life forever. Which I am still so stunned at that even strangers yeah. would dare be critical when someone like tells you what they're planning on naming their baby. They obviously love this name. I don't understand how people can be like, really, seriously? Why do you want to do that? 
So a lot of people are rolling in on Facebook. Like, this has really triggered a lot of people. Um, Audra says, oh, this is right up my alley. I have a Charlie. She's two. Her name's Charlotte because my husband was worried Charlie wasn't a feminine enough name, and he wanted her to have the option later in life. She goes by Charlie 80% of the time. The other, it's her full name because when she's in trouble. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. To the people that say something, thank you for your opinion, but we picked her name because we liked it for her or just thanks for your opinion. Yeah, I mean, okay, so here is my experience with that. I, um, you you know, I have three daughters, Isabella, Sophia, and Zoe. So Isabella and Sophia uh, were twins, or they are twins, and... You know, whenever we said the names to people, they were like, oh, pretty names, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So then once we got pregnant with Zoe and we had picked out Zoe, everybody were they, they were guessing. They were like, oh, you're going to pick a name that is that goes along with Isabel and Sophia, like Olivia or, you know, um, Hannah or I mean, just something that kind of flowed with Isabella and Sophia. And then when we would say, no, we've actually chosen Zoe, we would get the. Oh, oh, which kind of has a little bit of tone. Yeah, yeah, it. Like, it like like surprising. Not not sure I like it. Like oh, tone. you're going with Zoe and not something that flows along with Isabel and Sophia. And we're like, uh-huh. no, no. Uh-huh. Um, all right, so, hey, go ahead. What's your what's your thought? It's their child, but I would consider dropping an I E and going with either E E or E Y. Is that a more f- effeminate way to spell it? Yeah, it, there's somebody else that chimed in and said, I'm a Charlie mom, too, and spelled with an E-Y. I like that I idea. I think the E-E or E-Y would make it cuter, but it's nobody's concern what they named the child but theirs. There exactly. you go. All right, cool. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Dana, go ahead. It's actually spelled so D-A-N-A, and most of the is a guy's name. I totally understand. Get it. Get misconstrued. Get books all the time. So how would you... That, like, would you suggest changing the name Charlie? Absolutely not. I love the name Charlie. I have every intention of naming a child when I have one a boy's name because I think it's cute. Oh, okay. It All is right. adorable. Yeah. Now, do you think she needs to tweak the spelling of it to maybe, as a nod, say this is a girl Charlie or th- just keep it the way it is? I think they should keep it the way it is. All right. Dana, like appreciate it. you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. Hey, Lisa. Um, I was thinking that to put people in their place, she, they should say, well, we're really not sure what sex she wants to be when she grows up. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Have a great day, guys. Right, you too. You Bye-bye. too. Bye. John. All right. So what is your thought on this? Uh, I, I feel like she shouldn't let them get uh, other people get in the way of their, their insecurities um, just because they don't like the name. So. Go with what you go with what you like. They don't know what it means to you. All right, appreciate it. Thank you, John. Um, Tracy says my son's got a really good friend in elementary school named Charlie, but she also goes by her first and middle name, so Charlie Lynn, which is an idea. You could use the first and last name if you wanted to. Kylie says I named my daughter Barrett. She usually gets called a he at mm-hmm. any appointment, or people ask me if I named her after the gun. Nope, I just thought it was a cool name for a little girl. And thought it sounded powerful as an adult. I love that, too. I also like uh, the name Kyle for a female as yeah. well. And yeah. I, I, rem- I like that, too. I remember I applied for a radio job uh, just last week. Um, and no, I'm kidding. <laughs> just last week. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I applied for a radio job like uh, decades Hot ago. Twist. Yeah, a long time ago. A long time ago. And uh, the boss who I was sending my material to I had gender non specific name and her name was kyle and i remember um writing um like using he him pronouns in in my cover letter and then i found out like i didn't do my homework obviously no and and that doesn't bode well either plot twist didn't get the job so shocking shocking, it's really shocking So, oh, wow. Anyways. Oh, Kelly. Kelly says people act like this sometimes. I named my firstborn Damien, and people said I was naming the Antichrist. <laughs> oh, you know what? Um, From uh, the horror movie? What was that, The Omen? Uh, we was that are, the little kid's name? Yeah. I think so. Uh, we heard from a Brett, who's a girl. She says, Tos- causes total confusion, but I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, my girlfriend Amanda Brett. from from school, her yeah. daughter's name is Brett, spelled B-R-E-T-T-E. Um, so... 
here's here's what I say, Sam. Yeah. Let's go back to Disney. I, I I say, you know what? Spell it the way you want it. If you want to do it, C H A R L I E, do it that way. Because there was a whole Disney series around Charlie a girl, right? So, so then maybe do you when you sign her name like Charlie in parentheses, like the Disney series Good Luck Charlie in parentheses? <laughs> no, just own it, just own Charlie. Okay. So, anyways, Sam, hey, good luck, congratulations, by the way. And I, w- I can't wait to see pictures of Charlie oh, when yeah. she enters the world. I'm sure she will be beautiful. Anyways, thank you for reaching out to us.